All right, hi everyone. It has been a hot minute since I have done one of these. Um, not my normal place. I don't have a lot to talk about. In fact, I only have not even half an hour to sit here and record something, but I wanted to tell you guys what's been going on, how things are going. Um, it's been a month. Sorry, I was moving something out from in front of me. Um, it's been a month since I uploaded anything to YouTube, and before that it had been like two months, and so, you know, this isn't going to be a super uh, polished uh, podcast episode. I don't think I'm even going to actually number it either. Um, I don't think I'm going to number this. I think I'm just going to pick a title and put it up. Um, it's not going to have an episode number or anything. Um, I've been actually been thinking about stopping episode numbers and just doing like updates every once in a while, maybe with a date or something. I don't know. Um, but... I've been doing a lot. A lot's been going on. I mean, obviously, with the global pandemic and the COVID-19, you know, the spread of COVID-19, um, of course, everybody's worried about what's going on and if people are okay. And I'll start off by saying I'm fine. Uh, Kevin's fine. My husband's fine. My mom's fine. My almost 99-year-old grandmother is fine. But um, my dad and my stepmom lost one of their kids um, when... Uh, after my dad married my stepmom, they adopted two kids over time. One of them they adopted when I was 12 and he was four. The other one they adopted when I was nearly 17 and he was a newborn. So there's a huge age gap. So unfortunately, I have never had much of a relationship with these kids. Um, and the one who they adopted when I was 12, the four-year-old, um, unfortunately had a lot of mental problems through no fault of his own. Um, he was in a very bad situation before he was taken from his, his birth mom, and um, unfortunately, some of those things lingered for an extended, really extended period of time. And so, um, but he passed um, about a week and a half ago from COVID. It was a week this past Friday. Today's I'm recording this on a Tuesday. He passed this past Friday, which was, um, he passed on the 10th. So I'll give you the date, April 10th, he passed. Um, so we were able to do a burial and everything at the at the synagogue uh, cemetery, but um, my dad and my stepmom have taken it really hard, which of course, I mean, any parent is gonna take losing a child very hard. So um, I've been doing what I can to be there for them, helping where I can, but obviously, you know, there's restrictions because of, of the pandemic. So um, my state is in essential workers only mode um, in terms of like places being open, which means my husband still has to go in because um, he's not allowed to bring the federally regulated laser home for him to do his uh, his work on. So unfortunately, um, you know, he still has to go in. Um, I've been working from home. I've been working both jobs from home, both at the synagogue and for 100 Ravens. Um, I've been doing a lot more crafting. I've been knitting a lot more the last few weeks. Um, you know, I should have rewatched the raw video I posted. Um, before uh, uh, doing this, before recording this. I'm just doing this completely off the cuff, spur of the moment I decided to pull out my actual camera instead of my crappy webcam and record, you know? And so, um, you know, I don't know. Um, you might've noticed I changed my YouTube name. I switched it back to just Sarah Nova. Um, I've gone by Sarah Nova for years. Um, so now the only thing that actually doesn't say Sarah Nova is my Instagram. That's because somebody took that way back in 2011. Um, cause it turns out Sarah Nova is an actual name in Russia apparently. And, um, somebody took that, they made like one post and they never posted again. So I can't get that username on Instagram. Um, I've actually reached out to Facebook about it. Like, Hey, I use this name like professionally. It's on all my social media, et cetera, et cetera. This is obviously a dead account. Can I have this username? And I've never heard back every single time I've, I've messaged them. So, but anyways, um, so I am now staring over everywhere on YouTube, on Twitter, on Facebook, on, um, on like Patreon. Not that I have a Patreon, but I am a patron of other creators on Patreon. I use it there. Um, basically everywhere except for my email because I couldn't get that either um and my Instagram because it was already taken so um so you might have noticed my YouTube name changed a little bit but don't worry still the same person I'm still here um but yeah my my display name on YouTube has changed to reflect the fact that I'm just gonna go by Sarah Nova um and occasionally you might get videos that aren't um crafting related so because I've been thinking about doing more vloggy type stuff and so I figured I'd take the crafts out of there and just go buy Sarah Nova, right? So, um, so I figured I'd do that. Um, so, I've said a lot of ums and so's so far, but I've been working on some knitting stuff. Actually, some knitting right here in front of me. Here it is. It's very 
geometric. Um, this is a pattern called Mormont by Remily Knits. It's a Game of Thrones reference that I don't get because I don't watch or read Game of Thrones. Um, but it's a knit along that 100 Ravens is doing. It started this past Saturday and is going until May 30th. If you want to join, feel free. All the details are in the 100 Ravens Ravelry group. If you finish the shawl by the time, or wrap, it's more of a wrap than a shawl. If you finish the wrap by the end of May, is that date in May? May 30th, and you submit it to the Ravelry group, then you can win a $50 gift card. I'm probably going to finish way before the deadline, but um, I'm not eligible for the gift card since I work for them, and I'm kind of running this on their page. So there's that. Um, I've actually been catching up on, actually, this guy, Tokyo Lens. He's uh, Norm Nakamura. He's a Canadian living in Japan. Um, I've been very much enjoying his stuff. He's one of the uh, people I, I uh, support on Patreon. Um, and um, I've been very much enjoying his videos and traveling vicariously through him. Um, I did go to Japan once back in 2008 for a class. It's a very short 10-day whirlwind trip, um, and I'd love to go back. Obviously, with the pandemic and everything, that's not happening. Um, but, you know, I'd thought about maybe trying to go for the Olympics, but the Olympics are just going to be absolutely insane, and I'm not sure I want to deal with that, because the Olympics have now been put off until next year, 2021, instead of 2020. So, um, let's see. In terms of knitting, I've been working on my um, Winterly. I'm not going to pick it up, actually. I have it right next to me. I have a tray table, like, right down there. Um, and also, I have po yes, I know I have Pokemon in the background. What can I say? Um, these are posters on the wall in my house. Welcome to my life. Um... But I started the sleeves on my winter lease sweater. I finished the body. I ended up doing a half repeat extra. Um, and then um, doing the bottom hem in the same um, undyed as I did the, the yoke. Um, and then I started the sleeves. So I need to get a move on the sleeves. But, you know, um, I did finish a pair of socks. I am wearing the pair of socks. So I'm not going to show them to you because I'm not going to hold my foot up to the camera. But I finished the Hermione socks I was doing in the 100 Ravens yarn. Um... I also started another project, this one I can pick up because it's not all over the place. This one is just a pair of ribbed socks, see, um, because uh, I am doing a sample knit for 100 Ravens, so I've started that. This is the Pato sock base in the colorway Pyro, you can see here. Uh, it's getting really bright when I hold it really close to the camera because um, I have a ring light. If you, like if I lean over so you can see the reflection of the ring light here in the, in the, um, thing. So, um, I don't think I'm gonna, like, cut this or anything. I think I'll just, like, throw an opening and throw an exit in on this. But I've been thinking about making a new end thing. I'm not sure. Um, but, or I might try a new ending here. We'll see. I'll see, we'll see how I like it, because I can always cut it out. Um, but yeah, I need to get a new computer. I've been looking at stuff online. Um, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm gonna go for, but I'm looking to see if I can get a sale or a deal through my mom and where she works, because... Where she works has a has an arrangement with the computer company I want to get a computer from. I'm being vague for a reason here. Her the place she contracts with has an agreement with this t with this computer company, um, and I can get a certain percent off, and I can use certain rebates that I wouldn't have available to me otherwise, so I can get a better computer for less. So I'm looking at that, but I have to do it by a certain date because mom's contract is up mid May, so I need to do it before then. So probably in the next month I will have ordered a new computer, even if it doesn't ship for a while, but I will have ordered a new computer. Um, anything else going on? No, the cats are being weird because I'm home all the time now. I've been doing my best to not leave the house unless I have to. Um, I've been doing a lot of winding for 100 Ravens. We did a flash sale last week of some random mini sets we had. That went really well, but, you know, um, it's just been a lot of very repetitive. The days have kind of blurred together, which is why I was like, oh, I'll do the update, and then, like, the next week I'll do a thing, and it's a month later, and I haven't updated that on the 16th, I think, of, of March, something like that. It's been a while, and I felt like I owed you guys an update, and to be like, hey, I'm doing all right, things are okay, and that, you know, everything's going fine, and it's not, it's not a huge issue, um... Kevin's workplace is minimizing contact with other people. Nobody's allowed in the building if they're not supposed to be there for the day for work. So, you know, that's good. Um, did a little bit. Um, I might cut out a couple of my side, because I know I took a couple of tangents, so I think I'm going to get rid of the side tangents. Uh, 
but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm sorry there's not a whole lot of knitting content. I will try to remember to link this in the, um, in the chat, or at least check out the 100 Ravens on Ravelry if you want to find out more about the Knit Along. Um, it's running until May 30th, 2020. The deadline for submissions to, to submit your finished object to possibly win a $50 gift card is uh, midnight Eastern Standard Time on May 30th, um, 2020. So if you get it in by end of day, May 30th, 2020, according to Eastern Standard Time, because that's where we are, so that's the time zone on our computers and our posts and everything, um, it will be entered to win a $50 gift card from 100 Ravens. So, um, can't think of anything else. I will see you guys later. Um, again, short episode. I'm probably going to cut some stuff out at saying almost 15 minutes on here, but I can guarantee you I'm not going to upload a 15-minute video. So, um, go do something you enjoy, go read a book or, or knit something you like or start a new project or that thing you've been putting off for a while. I don't know. I'm trying to make the world a better place right now, so go and do something you would like. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!